Welcome back to the Midwest Dream Car Collection. Uh, my name is Drew and this is Doug. And uh, we're gonna be showing you why the Ferrari 458 is the best supercar that you could daily drive. This is the this controls this screen here. Oh, okay. Driving through the museum. I guess we can roll these windows up. One test that I wanted to do real quick while we're here is to see if my golf clubs can fit behind these seats. <laughs> Which is uh, probably the main thing that someone daily driving a Ferrari would need to know is how much space is in it. Well, I can already tell you it's easier to get in and out of than the GT, Ford yeah, GT, yeah. or even the Porsche 911. All right, let's give this a shot. I guess we'll probably have to move that other seat up too. Maybe this won't work, I have no idea. Let's see this up as high as two. There we go. Okay, now roll it back. This is probably just the most unnecessary test ever, but yeah, I'll see if I can slip it in. I guess they're in. Yeah. We're in. may not be straight anymore, but they're in. <laughs> True. <laughs> I'm have bent golf clubs now. Yeah, that'll help your score. It will. Start again. Oh, we need to run to the gas station real quick, actually. Text tech premium. Premium, yeah. At least that's what we put in all of our cars is premium, so kept at a premium quality at least. Highest performance gas. So the blinkers are actually on the steering wheel. They're not over here. Not really any stocks coming off the column, is No, it? there's not. The Everything's wheel. on the steering wheel. I like all this carbon fiber on the dash. It's, it's yeah. cool, look. Carbon is very cool. I agree, I don't know how functional where these are. Yeah, it's take a lot to get used to, I guess. It, it does take a lot to get used to it. Let's I'm gonna guess so if this was my car I could get used to it pretty quick. Yeah. If it was my car I think I would too. But hey, clubs are important. They are that. That was always my biggest question about owning one of these was could I fit my golf clubs in it? Because that was important to me for a while. But I so guess now we've tried them out in the 32 uh, 32 Packard. They fit, we know. Yeah. And then the Ferraris. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so you got to put the key in, turn it, then push the engine start button. That is correct. Yes. They're gonna get tired of hearing that noise. We've started up what three times now. So. <laughs> That sounds good. It does sound good, yes. This is the last of the mid-engine Ferraris that are naturally aspirated. So that means that there is no turbocharger or supercharger in the, let's see, mid-engine V8 Ferraris anyway. So, it's rare in that respect. No, you called this a supercar. Yes, it is. Uh, there's a lot of uh, debate on what supercars and hypercars there is, and things yes. like that. And so what what would make this a supercar? The price, the, the, the speed? The price, uh, the rarity, I would say. I do think the speed is definitely part of it. A lot of it's things really, go into it. Yeah, it's not that practical in daily driving use, but as far as supercars go, this would be the best for daily driving, in my opinion. Yeah, it's, it's a comfortable ride. It is, It's yes. not too hard to get in and out of. Now it's in bumpy road mode, which I think is extremely comfortable as well. So you can just click this little button here, 
yeah, this is one of the earlier years. I think they made it till 2014, if I remember correctly. Yeah, 2014 or 15. Yeah. And they came with what, 488? The 488, yes. So you can change the drive mode to put it in sport mode or wet mode if we needed to. Put it all the way down, wet mode, sport mode, race mode. So what mode would you put in this for like we're driving around town, kind of is that sport um, mode? I would or? say sport mode, yes. It was in race mode, which I think I was driving the car quickly at one time and thought race mode would be the best for that. Myself comparing it a little bit to the Ford GT because that was one of them I've driven. Yeah. Um, this car, I think, is just a little bit not quite as big as the GT. I think overall length's down a little bit. Yeah. You know, for sure. Yeah. Over, I think it's a little bit taller than the GT. It is, yeah. This is tall compared to other supercars anyway. Or whatever's classified as supercars. So if you're buying a new supercar, you're pretty much left with two options. Uh, a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. I always thought that I wanted a, uh, an all-wheel drive Lamborghini, but now that I'm really thinking about it and have gotten to drive these cars, I think the rear wheel drive is especially helpful because it, it's so light on the front end. So handling is just fantastic. A little speed. A good pickup. It does, yeah. It's zero to 60 time is 3.4 seconds, which is not fast compared to what else is out there, but uh, it's First and foremost, it's a Ferrari, so fast is obviously in the name. So I guess I'll sort of see uh, why I think this is a great daily driving supercar and then let you get in and test it for yourself. That'd be great. See if you agree with the, with the opinions. Yeah, it does. Paddles. It shifts without the paddles. Um, in the Lamborghini, you have to click it into manual mode. Right. Um, and that's, you know, another It's just step. an automatic, whichever one this you is, use. This is seven speed. Seven speed, dual clutch. Uh, the red line is at 9,000 RPM. So, I think it has, what, 592 horsepower? Ah, uh, sounds right. You know, yeah. What's the top speed of this car? Proximity range in case you really get into a hypercar type. Yeah, pretty much. Downshifts. Downshifts. Sounds good. <laughs> I could get used to it. I like this contrasting interior.
classic red Ferrari or some other color that probably no one cares about that much. <laughs> so there's kind of like a bunch of color options or is it there, There's a whole bunch of color options, yes, but it seems like everyone buys the red Ferraris. Um, and the reason Ferrari is red is that uh, each country had its own color. So uh, it, Italy would run in the color red has the, the nice thing about this is it's red and it has the yellow brake calipers and those kind of match the yellow logos um, and the reason they made that logo yellow Enzo Ferrari's his hometown was Modena the yellow was the symbol for Modena at the time oh I, did, I think I did remember reading that somewhere yeah yeah take you for some authentic Italian food oh yeah you a fan of this? Oh, you bet. I'll let you guys know since the camera's not pointing forward, but we pulled up to Little Caesars. The authentic Italian food. <laughs> American style. American authentic. <laughs> so is that a uh, sensor alarm? Getting too close to something or what was yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, it's a sensor alarm. Now that I got our authentic Little Caesars pizza. Switch yeah. driver so we can eat pizza. We switch drivers, yes. It's got that little camera, backup camera there. Where was that? I didn't see that. It's right there. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. That would have been useful a couple seconds ago. Yeah, yeah. You know everybody likes manuals for these types of cars, but yeah. I'm kind of, I like the automatic. Okay. So I think you can... Well, that's good. Pay more attention to the driving using the paddle shifters. I'll just have some in. pizza real quick. It smells pretty good, Drew. It should be pretty good. Don't eat it all before we get back. It is good. <laughs> I'm sure it's just like they have in Italy. I had to behave there for a minute. There was a police officer. I me. saw that, yeah. has to be my favorite driving car of recent weeks. That's good. I think it's mine too. Not that any of them have been bad. True. But uh, got tough competition. Those other cars are just much faster. Like that Porsche. Yeah, that super Porsche. Super fast. That, but yeah, it was. this car is way more comfortable. That Porsche is not good for daily driving at all. You can even fit luggage in the front trunk up there. That's where you put all the golf balls that you couldn't get in the yeah, golf bag. Exactly, yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. So if you want to get rid of some golf balls, put them in the front. That works. The visibility out of the back is really good too. Some of those mid-engines. Yeah, it's, it's hard to see so out good, of them. Not so good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> guy wants to compete. Was he in a Mustang? Yeah. I thought it was a Mustang. It was loud. Yeah, he wants to race in the school zone. <laughs> Not gonna happen. See, the thing is, I really like these coupes a lot because the convertibles, like that Ferrari 430, they have the soft top. Lamborghini has the soft top for their Huracans. The thing about this, I wish it was a convertible because yeah. the 458 actually comes with a hard top convertible which lays into the trunk automatically, which is super nice. I think it looks fantastic. Uh, I don't like when they have a soft top on them. It ruins the body lines. It ruins the aesthetics, the uh, yeah. yeah, I agree. I've always liked the hard top. Yeah, this one looks especially nice with that black on top. That black on the top part is actually a wrap. The black on the top is what? That's a wrap, the black is. Oh, it is. I was thinking that it was painted that way. I don't think Ferrari paints their cars in two colors like that, though. It looks nice. It does look real nice. Yeah. But the thing, if you had a convertible, it would take up a lot more engine room and you wouldn't be able to see through the glass that's back here right. into the engine bay uh, because there's a smaller engine compartment and there's 
can see now, I understand these a little bit better over here. You really don't use those at all. Yeah, kind no, of you don't leg. use that side at all. What are your concluding thoughts on the car? I think this is a great car. It, uh, rides great. Uh, performance is great. Uh, I really like the styling. The styling is really sharp. Yeah, it is. This is one of the best looking Ferraris that they make now. Well, I'd agree. It's a good looking car. Sophisticated class. The Lamborghini has a lot more modern features to it, but it kind of gets overwhelming. This has everything right there on the steering wheel and on the dash um, that you would possibly need. And it has what Lamborghinis don't in this cup holder here, which is nice. I don't I put really a short know. cup in it. Yeah, I don't know what this <laughs> would be for. I assume that's a cup holder as well, but yeah. you can't hold much if you're taking off very fast. But I guess if you're a redneck, you could put your can of skull in there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, give us a like, subscribe. Give us a comment too. We always love the comments. Yeah. But um, thanks for watching.